If your evening plans include seafood anywhere near Cape Cod's elbow, your appetizer likely came through here, Chatham Shellfish Company, where fresh oysters are loaded for delivery to the finest restaurants on Cape Cod and across the state. They can literally be in the water and on a plate, what, in just a matter of hours? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Though oysters have been a delicacy since antiquity, oyster farming was still a primitive practice when John Richards started this company in the mid-1970s. There were no textbooks and there was no gear, so everything was done by trial and error. It's funny because today people are so used to seeing the racks and the cages along the top of the water. And was that a game changer? Yeah, it brought about much faster growth. Growth is key, as we see when looking at the seed or infant oysters. So small, hundreds can fit in the palm of your hand. Like a year and a half to get to a mature oyster? When I first started, it was 36 months. We've got it down to about 20 months now. Wow. Which is almost half. Richard's oystering progress is remarkable, considering where he started. In the early days, 90% of the seed never made it to the plate. His current success is due, in no small part, to a 15-year partnership with hatcheries using the best of the best to breed a fast-growing, disease-resistant oyster. Chatham Shellfish General Manager Stephen Wright has a 20-year history with John. Wright's famous work ethic is another reason the company has thrived. Do you have any idea how many oysters you've got in your farm out here? About three million right now. Right now, there's three million oysters. Yes. We talked to John, and it, there was no technology, there was no textbook, as he says, but then you actually go to school for aquaculture. How much of that was helpful in what you do here? Very helpful. We were able to study all the modern techniques. To have that base of knowledge turned out to be invaluable. And what was appealing to you about this way of life? I like the fact that you get to produce something with your hands that really makes a, a good difference in the world. Innovation is key in an industry where most equipment is homemade, like this sorting machine, John's creation, that is 10 times faster than sorting by hand alone. But even this machine may not be able to keep up with the ever-growing demand for Chatham oysters. It's almost like a fad today. It's uh, really taken off. You can't grow enough oysters. It's a good problem to have. Yeah, it is. It's nice. Here we go. Oh, I love that flavor. Full ocean brine. If fisherman Bo Gribben is not on the water working one of his two boats, he is most likely here, literally waiting for his ship to come in on McMillan Pier in Provincetown. Every fisherman my age will tell you how great it was. Fishermen were feeding America. It was like honorable to be a fisherman. We lost that. It was a happening place if you were a kid in P-Town. I grew up on the water down there. In my class, probably six out of 10 kids' families were fishermen. First time I went when I was 10, then I started going very regularly when I was 12. It's the best job in the world. And it's a job that he still loves, though the majority of the fleet he grew up with is long gone. You still have that in your heart. Once you spend that much time on the water and doing this, it's just in your blood. Long hours of grueling physical labor under hazardous conditions, all for this. That's a 50 pound bag. They were in the water four hours ago. Sea scallops harvested and distributed by his company, Helltown Wild Caught. Our two primary fisheries are sea scallops and lobsters. We kind of wanted to be able to provide people with dock to door, similar to farm to table, to give it a traceability that where it comes from and how it was harvested. And it just kind of took off. People like it. And the whole operation is kept very close to home. My daughter fished with me on and off, and my wife as well. There's some obstacles working together as a family, but at the same time, it's very rewarding. I haven't been lucky a lot of times in my life, but when it comes to my wife and my kid, I've been really lucky. 
And back to Chatham Shelf is Company. They actually have weekly hours where you can drive up or boat up mm -hmm. and get fresh oysters right off from the, from the farm. Good stuff. And if you prefer a more hands-on approach, actually the town of Chatham has their own program where they produce about 200,000 oysters a year. They deploy them into the wild, mm -hmm. sort of like a watery Easter egg hunt, so <laughs> town residents can go and look for them. Uh, it does require a family license, but easy to apply for online. And you look like you enjoyed your oyster I did. there. All right, coming up, she grows organic, so you don't have to.